Hi everyone. Today we're going to be doing a review for Lenny Abramson's new uh, critically acclaimed drama Room. Um, who is Lenny Abramson? Lenny Lenny is um, a nobody. <laughs> he's nobody. He's he's a Brit. He's the, he's a he's a British um, auteur, independent film director who is virtually unknown in the United States. So. Um, his movie Room, which is nominated for a whole bunch of Academy Awards this year, is uh, it's a really big deal, um, and it's an awesome movie. It's, it's like, okay, so um, let's talk about Room. Now, I'm just gonna warn you right now. We're gonna have to do some spoilers. So, um, if you haven't seen the movie, and if you haven't seen a trailer for the movie, you don't know anything about the movie. Shut this review off right now and watch Room, and uh, then afterwards. If you're interested, come back and watch this and tell me if I was on or totally off. Um, but this is this is my take on Room. Room is about um, a woman who is uh, held captive in a room, um, in a room, uh, with her a young son. And her young son is, I think he's uh, he's five, five, four, four or five years old. And he has been raised completely inside of this small little shed. And he's never seen the outside. He doesn't, and, and so in order to keep, I don't, I don't know why she did it, but the mother essentially um, told him this was the entire world. So, so he sees television, but he thinks that things are coming through television from magic. He doesn't think they're real, and he's he doesn't believe in trees or that there are other people. And it's a, it's it's a it's a fascinating character study. Brie Larson, I thought that uh, I thought Saoirse Ronan had the. Uh, I mean, again, I thought she was like a shoe in for the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role because any other year, I mean, her performance in that movie in Brooklyn is amazing, but Brie Larson is so awesome. I mean, like completely captivating and engrossing and believable. And uh, every line that she says, she, you can tell, like, she, she believes every single word she says. So it's going to be a really tight race. And. I honestly, I, I, I can't be, you know, I can't be upset if, as long as one of those two wins. Um, anyway, uh, so Room. So, um, it's so, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's so, it's so well shot. It's so well put together and well crafted. When, um, when, uh, I, I forget the little kid's name, I think he's Jack, whatever, whatever, whenever he gets out of the room for the first time and, he starts to see things for the first time, and you know they do these incredible slow motion shots. He's wrapped up in this carpet, and he's looking out of this carpet, and you can see, sort of like from his uh, POV shot inside the carpet, looking at this cylinder, and he sees the sky, and he's just, like overwhelmed by trees and telephone wires and everything that we take for granted. Um, they manage to capture in such an incredible way that you really believe that. And the kid is awesome. I don't know who the I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I should have done my research. I don't even know who the kid is. He's awesome. The kid is like a completely believable child actor, and that's that's extremely rare, and especially to find one so young. And also, there's so much screen time. I mean, the whole movie is essentially her, him, and the captor. That's for for for, for at least the first half of the movie, and then the second half of the movie deals with their adaptation to the rest of the world once. Um, once they're exposed to it. So um, I give Room an A. I think it is a, uh, a stellar motion picture. And um, I hope it wins a whole bunch of Academy Awards. So that's my review for, for Room. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.